Good afternoon, or okay, good evening if it's evening time where you are, or good morning if it's morning. This is Eddie Pila, you're watching Chess and Wine, and today we are having a special interview with um, uh, Mr. Peter Mninao. You all are already aware that previously, in the previous episode, we reported on Mr. Mninao being, um, or Mr. Peter, in fact, being uh, suspended by Mr. Luzuk and Denise, the president of the Eastern Cape uh, Chess um, Union. Chess Association, <laughs> Mr. Ninawa was actually, um, yeah, so the issue started with the organizing of the uh, elections, the general elections for the Nelson Mandela Bay Chess Union, which Mr. Ninawa is now the president of after that elections, which, they, which, which, which took place on the 18th of November. So today we speak to Mr. Ninawa, Peter, to get an update on what's happening, maybe get a, get, get a background story from his side, and maybe the future of this now suspended president. <laughs> so it's a, again, it's a, a clarification which we are, I believe is also going to make that the, um, the, 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 what, uh, the president uh, is suspended the person, Mr. Peter, now not the Federation, because he was not yet the president of the, or the uh, president of the Federation as yet. But yeah, we'll speak to him shortly. Stay tuned. Mm, good afternoon, Mr. Mini now Peter, and welcome to uh, Chess and Wine. <laughs> We're glad to have you. Yeah, good afternoon as well. Glad to be here. Yeah, let me start by saying to hear my side of the story. Yeah, but let's start with congratulating you uh, on your recent election as president of the Nelson Mandela Bay, uh, uh, Chess Union. Congratulations on that. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, it happened yesterday. Yes. Yeah, so we had uh, we had uh, a ninety ninety percent turnout of the of the of the members of the council. Yes. Which is our clubs. Yes. So in the region we've got uh, we've got ten club ten clubs, right? So nine pitched up yesterday. So nine of the how many clubs? Of the ten. Nine of the ten. Okay. Yeah. All right. Can you hear me clearly? Hello. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you clearly. You can. Hi, I can hear you. All right. No, yeah, but it's nine. It's nine. We've got nine clubs. Yeah. Nine clubs present. So I remember that yes. I, I, I made a mistake in the previous video when I said that there were how many? I said uh, <laughs> you said there were three. I said three out of five. So I don't know where that, where that came from. Was it from a text or at some point? Where, where did that come from? The three out of five. It came from the fact that there is there were five. There are five clubs that apparently are in existence and are not members because they are not known or they were not known by by the by the outgone uh, uh, um, executive okay they have never been members of the uh, of the Nelson Mandela Bay chess union so from those five clubs because they started to come in during already the elections mm. three of them three of them and they they submitted nominations to participate into these elections. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you were left with two that did not participate. All right. Now see, now I'm. I, I just want to go back a little bit now because if sure. they, because you, it, it, it just sort of it brings me back to this uh, issue that we discussed uh, about a bit, where the invitation the, how did the process of inviting clubs to participate in the in, in the what in the elections in fact start because i I'm, I'm sure it's not always the same way because I'm, I'm i'm now referencing from what's happening within and because obviously we've had um all the other regions being inactive and now in trying to reactivate them um the provincial interim structure is inviting clubs to send in their details, their email addresses and obviously their contact persons first so that if they were not away, because now it's, there's a possibility that the current interim structure is not aware of all the clubs that are in existence or the clubs in the database may not be active and so forth. So they invite everyone to just come. Was the process similar in that way or did this um, process go with the clubs that were already on the database and it just went uh, sent out an invitation just to those who are um, part of the database? Let me, let me. 
let me just make it a, a, a simple example. Mm. If it is going to have elections, yes. they will send the notification to its members, yes, which yeah. is whatever countries. Yeah. And uh, let's assume FIDE has got 100 countries. Mm. He will send invitation because he knows that these are the people that, or the countries that are participating in chess. Yeah. And when that process starts, when they send that now, send your nominations, that means that is an electioneer, electioneer, electioneering time has started. Yeah. Right? Yes. Then the 101st country, which is, let's say, let's call it country Titsikam. Yeah. Comes in on the 15th, when already FIDE has sent for nominations and the process is going on. And say, oh, now we're also playing chess. We want to be part of the HR. Yeah. So <laughs> that is a scenario here. Okay. So will FIDE allow that? I don't think FIDE would allow, and FIDE was going to say, but guys, we don't know you. That's why we could not communicate to you. Because you're not part of the base of the countries that we know. Mm. So if you take that scenario and put it back into the Nelson Mandela Bay, the same clubs that have come in have come in when electioneering and call for nomination has already started on the second of October. All right. They come in late on the twenty sixth. So now my question again is it makes sense now making an example of an of a function a functional structure. That obviously, yeah. definitely, a functional structure will just speak to its active members and invite them for nominations. But a non-active yes. structure that is trying to resuscit uh, revive itself will definitely first want to find out who's uh, still active and who's not and who's new and yes. so forth. So are you saying now that the, yes. the National Mandela Bay structure has been functional? So that's why they didn't need to start by checking who's Yes, for the, for, for the past 10 years. Yeah. For the past 10 years. And so, when 2023, the constitution was signed in 2013. Yeah. So, there's been elections five times. Since then. Democratic elections. This is a fifth, this is a fifth one. Yeah. So, in these 10 years, uh, let's assume, for instance, one of the clubs that is there said was formed in 2000. Yes. Which makes it 23 years old. Mm -hmm. It's older than even Nelson Mandela at uh, 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 Chess Union. Yeah. But it was never in the database. Uh, how they manage that or not, I don't know. You know, uh, but the point of the matter is that each federation, in its nature, yeah. it would call for action from its own members that it knows. Yes. Unlike your situation that you are saying, you are trying to find out about whether people are there or not. So that those are the scenarios that are that that are playing. That's here. a special case in a way. Yes, your one is a special case. Our one were functional. We are running uh, uh, trials in the in the in the region for all our youths. Mm. Uh, we've got clubs that uh, host their tournaments, federated and chesserated. So there and the schools tournament as well. We just finished one about uh, about eight six weeks or so ago. Mm. So we went to the Eastern Cape Chess uh, uh, Championships last year in Komani. Okay, I'm not going to talk about how it was. <laughs> and then and and and. Uh, and then Jeffrey's Bay, which was close here. So the, the interim structure has actually done well as well from a perspective of having that to happen. So what do you, what do you say? I mean, you've mentioned that it's it's interim, but what do you say about uh, 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 to the... I don't know if it's rumors. Maybe let's just call them rumors for now. That the, yeah. former, the former, the outgoing president has been absent for a full year and... Uh, he hasn't been accessible, he hasn't been attending events, and most people or players have assumed that he has resigned by obviously by being absent, has resigned from his position, and maybe that's the reason why they've assumed that the structure was not functional. Who was keeping the structure functional in his absence? Because apparently he was the only um, elected member that was left in the structure. Yeah, so, so the structure, let me just give you a little bit of background. The structure was was elected in 2019. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. And they had uh, a full team. And then two of the members resigned probably six months down the line or so. And then they were left as three. It was Nathan and uh, Katrina and uh, Jesse's mother, Jesse Fabrodo's mother, mm -hmm. Benny. And over time, they also 
resigned. So now Nathan was alone, so we had to co-opt. So we co-opted two members who would be able to run the day-to-day -day and also he assist from his side. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is after now 2020, 2019, 2020, after 2021 elections. Because they had to continue for 2021 up to now, purely because not even one person raised their hand to say, I want to be part of the executive to run chess in Nelson Mandela Bay. So there were no, no elections so in 2021? There were nominations that were done, were sent through, but mm -hmm. there were no one that came and said, I'm raising my hand. So there had to be a continuance from their side. Okay. If you get what I'm saying, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's constitutionalist. They will find that, that is proper. There's nothing wrong mm -hmm. with that. So they continued up until the other two resigned, and then and then it forced Nathan to be on his own, and then got uh, it had to co-opt two, two other members. Uh, in between... I think I hope I hope you will speak to him. He will tell you. In between, he had some health issues that happened and so forth, so he could not be uh, permanently coming in and all that out. However, the the committee itself, the way they operated, was such that whenever they are making a decision or something that they are discussing, they would discuss and then confirm with the elected president, and then he would make a decision based on that. Okay, no, because uh, some some confirmation do, does state that his signature was seen in many of the documents. So I guess that's why that's some of the things that were happening. So they would obviously send to him. So now again, because I, I, again, I understand that you're saying you were involved as an advisor towards this elections, the currently held elections, the ones that just concluded on the 18th of November. No, I was not an advisor. So. My role in the region, I was, de I was deployed to the interim structure, which is the Eastern Cape interim structure, which we formed. I'm also a founding member of that with the other guys, mm. which we formed about two years or three years ago. And really, the, the interim structure's purpose was to get the province into good standing. Yeah. So members from various regions were added in as we go on. As you were saying that you were trying to rebuild. Yes. Some members started, I mean... Uh, Chrisani was there, Andaluzuko, and Oartam, Bandalupolo, myself for Nelson Mandela Bay, and, um, and Kanti for Amatole, and then Miss Kukemur for Buffalo City, but then she dropped off at some point. Mm. But at the time when we were putting people together, I was also on the side of the Joe Mahomole team, and Miss Kukemur was on the Hendrick team. So we opted not to influence or be the people that are leading per se, but okay. also to be part of the structure and not take any position. So it was more like a handpick type of thing. But guys, let's try and do this thing. So there were no elections that were done up until today. Also, no, with the interim structure, no uh, formal sitting of the clubs, of the regions. In fact, the council was uh, organized and where the members were picked uh, or were decided, we selected from. Was it just a random? No, for, 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 yeah, for, for an example, in Nelson Mandela Bay, I was there first, mm -hmm. and then I got out, and then they selected one of the Greg Mentin, who was also in the youth structure, yes. to go in there to represent because I moved out. And remember as well that in the in the in the in the in the in the, in the region, we 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 really have functional structures specifically for the youth side, where we've got committees. That are there to make sure that we're able to to run that space very well. Mm. All right. So now again, I, I I think I was bringing the 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 because I just wanted to check how how whether you were involved in the organizing in any way of this for my these elections because i had some questions especially with the what the appointment of the elections officer right electoral officer. Because again, I just was so just hoping that you would assist in clearing some of the uh, clearing the air, in fact, regarding some of the uh, the yeah. things that are being said about the elections, the the, the the concerns from others that have led to the Eastern Cape, um, uh, whether it's the executive of the president alone deciding to request or to at least um, instruct the, the 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 region to halt with the what with the election process, uh, postpone them until further until all these issues have been resolved. So I just wanted to check. Is, can I can I be able to check with some of with you some of those uh, issues? No no no. Okay, chat. I'm, I'm yeah. free to chat. I mean, I'm, I'm the current president, so I have to answer for all these <laughs> things, even if I was not. So all right. I, will, I will give you my insight. Yeah. yeah. 
the the election the electoral officer is it Mr. Muller? How did it come? How, how was his uh, appointment? How did it, his appointment come? About? What convinced you or any or the region that he was the right person for the job, for the task? In fact, okay, so. Mm -hmm. So, so, so uh, the election, the, the constitution is indicating that the executive committee uh, will it will select or elect or nominate the electoral officer, and then they will start the process in terms of doing that. Uh, Mr. Muller has been an executive in quite a number of uh, sporting codes. Um, exactly. Volleyball, he was an executive there. Volleyball. Uh, wrestling, he was. Bodybuilding was also uh, also in there. Mm -hmm. And he's been involved in quite a number of sports um, sports involvement, and also also involved in SGBs. So uh, his 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 uh, selection uh, was based on the fact that he's experienced around the issue of um, organizational functioning and also doing elections as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I would even go back and even say to you that. The election officer for last year was not belonging to a, a sports something. Mm. Uh, it's, it's, it's a guy that 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 has, has got some law, understands law. So said, and then they selected that guy to try and help um, in the in the elections. So the, the the whole story that is going around and what have you. I think when that when that appoint, when when the nomination was sent out. It would have been nice if people rejected immediately and not wait until <laughs> the end of the 31st of October. You don't reject, you reject after <laughs> some time. You're like, okay, now you reject this guy wrong. And then you say, no, this guy is a parent, he's got a child. So it doesn't disable you to have a brain and understand processes just because you've got a child who's playing the sport. <laughs> you know, we, we have to remain as professionals <laughs> when we're doing this, this thing because it's a service. Yeah. So, so do you not see any conflict of interest? Because I think the the fact that he's a parent, as obviously it's evident, if he's a parent, a supportive parent for for that matter, he would have been obviously to some tournaments. He would have made some uh, friends. I don't know some connections. Friends. With, yeah, friends. <laughs> <laughs> with okay. people, with people so, who were involved or interest or with interest in the process. You know what is nice about this? When I was thinking, because this thing mm. has come through a lot, yeah. And I was thinking to myself, as an upbeat, I'm an upbeat, um, you know. Right. And, yeah. And my <laughs> child plays, so I don't know whether would I would I lose the 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 job? I would not understand to upbeat if my child is playing. <laughs> I think I still have to upbeat. I, I still have to be neutral. So we need to allow and, and say people uh, uh, are capable of, 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 of doing the function. And the function is very, very simple. It's not complicated because the electoral officer does not have an impact on who's nominated. Mm. Because it's the clubs, it's the members that nominate one another. Another member nominates another member, yeah. right? Yeah. They sign off. So he's just a receiver of nominations. And, just, and then make sure they qualify according to the standard. That this person has got the CV, he's got the manifesto. If the manifesto is needed, this person is a member around the and the people that signed are correct. And then she, he signs that off, and then waits for the day where the constitution is guiding him and say, by this time, twenty days before this, you must announce the nominations. Yes. And then he just takes those things that he received. Say, guys, here are the nominations. These ones don't qualify because of this. These ones qualify because of this. And then go to the election day and say, we, here is ballot papers. That's all. Yeah. So I think I think my child can actually do that. It's not complicated. <laughs> but let me ask, in your understanding, what was the main pressing reason that would have forced or that would have sort of gave um, uh, 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 the Eastern Cape uh, Provincial um, Executive? I don't know, like that... Now, what what makes their decision or their what 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 would have pushed them to decide to instruct the region to postpone the election? What was the main thing in your understanding that influenced that from decision? from from the from the interim structure? Yes, of the Eastern Cape. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm not sure. Uh, from what I understand, they never sent any email to to the to the to the outgoing executive. The letter this that we seen media. did not come, did not go through to the the interim. Sent by who? 
No, 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 no. You have sent interim was supposed to send to NMPC, right? Yes. To say, please hold on. Yes, of course. Did you receive a letter? Yeah. Did you receive a letter to say you must drop elections? Okay. <laughs> so, so, so there was no letter that was received from the interim structure of Eastern Cape to say to Nelson Mandela, BHS Union, stop the elections. But let's discuss the issue that you're asking about why would why what what made that all right, all right yes. but i'm saying the process was not followed you understand yeah so yeah. it's a matter of recognizing that there is an active structure for 10 years and must be able to respect it mm. and it's the best one in the region one number one on everything so mm. but let's get to the core of what you're talking about so the whole issue here is about these new clubs yes. which are the township clubs okay as as Freddie Ottendal brought this thing as an issue from his youth chess academy, it was the same that wrote this thing to say there are these clubs. Yeah. And then back to the example that I spoke about feed and talking to its members. The answer from the outgoing executive was saying, but you know, we're right in the middle of elections. What would be the purpose of these people if they're coming in now? They could just wait for the new executive to come in and then they can be onboarded which in fact became the resolution of the agm yesterday from the council of nelson mandela bay yeah so mm. so the main reason you believe was because obviously the because now again <laughs> and i'm in, in the, uh, as you see it do you see do you foresee any repercussions for not um uh, how do you say for not following the instructions or not respecting the what the, the instruction from um or from the executive committee of the eastern cape which obviously is, um instructed that the elections not go on and the elections went on and the executive was uh, was elected are there would you do no but, but, but remember but remember it what i said earlier on is that there is no formal communication to the nelson mandela pages you know yeah and I'm sure that the executive would have replied and said the same thing to them to indicate that there is no reason because there is no harm happening here. Yeah. We've got eight clubs that are in existence that are members. Mm -hmm. And we are saying, let's stop elections because there are two clubs that were never members, unknown, we are right inside elections, and then we must stop. What are we going to? What is it going to change? For the interest of non-members, okay. If, they, mm. if, if 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 they waited, if if they waited, and it, if okay, let me put it this way. Let me put it differently. These clubs come in, and then they are requested to submit because there's a claim that they say they are known. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and then the executive says, "Please provide us, please, uh, please provide us." with the proof that you communicated with us and we closed doors for you yeah because that's how that's that's how this thing is the narrative it's, oh. it's portrayed as if oh, okay they are put aside as if they were known mm. they were not known but there's no proof and of they never mm. and there's no proof of communication nothing mm. because at the end of the day remember that fridges fridges uh, 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 club has been partially accepted by the electoral office because the electoral officer is saying, guys, out of this club, what's also Fred, this one, out of this club, Fred decided to pay 250 levy uh, sometime before the elections, but never submitted the documentation required. Right? Yes. And then when the election starts, we say, Fred, where's, where's your information? He says, no, I, I sent it to Nathan. He said, okay, okay. Then, the, then it's asked, Fred, for what? it. You don't. Don't worry about Nathan. Can you forward what you have as a proof? Yeah. And it never came. Instead, it came on the 26th of October, from what I'm, I'm given as a, as, as a debrief on the net. Mm. But it came on the 26th of October, right? Yes. Now, the electoral officer is saying, because you guys have supported Freddy's club since last year, you have made sure that you publicize for him all the events that he does and so forth and so forth then you cannot say you don't know him so that just was because he did not yes. fill in all the documentation correct yeah therefore he's yes then therefore you must allow them 
Because that was inclusivity now. Existed. Now you have to move away. The electoral office are, Yes, because mm. there was a proof of existence. Yeah. Now, there's no proof of existence on the other ones. <laughs> they, they, you go to Chelsea results, there's no tournament. In fact, other ones in there, they were claiming that the, the tournaments and the pictures that they show is the pictures of British tournaments, not the Yes. Yeah. But they claim that it's the Yes. <laughs> and we say, no, but this was posted by youth. It's like a team. No. On Facebook, it's available. Mm. <laughs> you know? so, 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 in essence, in essence, the issue here, the, 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 there was no tsunami coming, guys. You know, this thing is exaggerated based on narrative that was put out there. Mm. I mean, even if you say that, let's, let's, and you, now you're saying this on the 29th, 20 something of October. Mm. Even if you say, um, stop the elections now, yeah? Postpone them until you, 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 you fix this issue. Let's say let's say there was an issue. You fix it. Yes. The nominations were already in. Everyone. The only position that was in contest was only Fred, this one for youth director. I was uncontested. Mm -hmm. I was still going to go through. Yeah. Ridwan was uncontested as a vice president. He was going to go through. Yes. Jitsi Bunza, uncontested, was going to go through. Um, and then... Um, Mrs. Kutze was going to go through. Now, um, please, sorry. Jason just... Valentine was going to go through. <laughs> Tertius was going to go through. So now, sorry, sorry, sorry. Because now this <laughs> brings me to another very interesting issue because we were obviously going to move into the national elections for Chester South Africa as well. So now the fact that you were uncontested did not yeah. mean that you needed to achieve a certain number of votes in order for you to go through of, to go through from council. Did it mean that you automatically go through without any voting? Yeah, and... You, you, are un you are uncontested in essence. Yeah. So if you're uncontested, there's no one who's raising a hand. So so in, in, what you are saying is that okay, if people let's say let's say people have to come in, must to be to 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 recognize. Remember that the AGM is a council meeting. Yes. By the way, yeah. that's the first part. It's mm. a council meeting. So the members had to be there, mm. and the mem and the electoral officer said, "Ninawa, do you accept?" Yes. Ridwan, do you accept? Uh, and then. The voting for this one for Freddy and Hen Kutze. Hen Kutze won one seven, no seven one. Because Freddy had one vote. Yeah. Uh, Is it six one? Six one or seven yes. one? I don't you understand? Six one. Yes. Yes. six one. No six one. Mm. Yeah, six one because Freddy left, yeah? mm. left before the vote because he finished looking at the at the bank statements because that's what he wanted to see the bank statements and then he left. Mm. After that, he said, "No, I'm fine with the bank statements." So. The election went through and after that <clears throat> it was declared by matibas and moved for a motion to say the elections were fair and they were seconded by the Eugene hague chess club mm -hmm. all right so so, so yeah mm. okay all right so um so just one second it's me yeah, I can hear that there's some <laughs> some serious stuff. I'm a leg, Sorry, it's my daughter. Yeah, Come we on. must look. We must look after our kids. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Mm. So check. Sorry, I, I yeah. just wanted to check something as well. Um, with because uh, now I'm 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 quite, I'm I'm, I'm um, Concerned with the executive committee, the, the, the Eastern Cape um, uh, um, executive, the interim executive, and its relationship to the Nelson Mandela Bay um, uh, current structure. Right, you see what I mean? Mm. So, are we saying that there is no powers vested in the interim structure until there are elections, and therefore, whatever they are, like, oh, they are, are they recognized? Is there recognition, vice versa? Let me just start there. Yeah, first of the interim structure is, is is newer than the NMP, so they should recognize it. There's no way that they can't. Yeah. Um, and we are the top performing region in the region. Mm -hmm. uh, we have proved it two times in a row, so <laughs> there's no way you can't recognize it. So let's put that one aside. Okay. Um, the, 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 the various, there are various permutations here, mm -hmm. yeah? uh, and I'm talking this from a constitutional perspective. Okay. You know for a fact, most that if you are not elected, you are unable to vote. Of course, yes. <laughs> okay. 
So, so you can read between those lines. So, so if you're unelected and you're unable to vote, then there's someone else who's got power that needs to give you a right to say something. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Which means in this instance, you would say the council, when you take serious decisions like suspending an individual, mm -hmm. who's not your member, by the way, an individual from chess everywhere, you remove that individual even from the Eastern Cape Chess Players Group where that individual's children are supposed to understand what's going in there. They are minors, they're not part of that, but I can't see what's happening now with regards to players. My children are going to miss because I've been removed even from there, you know? Mm. Now you take those drastic measures. You have not spoken to the council, which I'm saying the council should be the people that are representatives from the regions yes. who are elected. Those people can give you a way forward, yeah. whether you suspend a person or not. Right? Yes. Now, the recognition story is very clear to me that you are unable not to recognize an existing structure pre yourself for that matter. Yeah. You, you shouldn't even try to do that. It's not necessary. I, I hope I'm making myself clear because at the end of the day, I am not trying to throw stones somewhere. Yeah. I want just people to just think a little bit and understand what I'm saying. That's all I'm, I'm asking. All right. So apply, I, apply your thinking, uh, basically. That's what you're saying. <laughs> I see a little bit of thinking around what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah. Just so, a little bit because the, pro the problem, it, it comes across as if as if somebody's got an authority then when you want to understand where do you derive this from because the constitution is not even supporting you by the way <laughs> are you is it a personal thing endowment on yourself but that i've got the power or are you supported by the constitution and if you follow those processes mm, mm, mm. okay all right so yeah. But when I check, when I when I followed up with the with with the interim president regarding the what the suspension, he stated mm. that it was a uh, what do you call it? a temporary suspension. Uh, obviously, it it would, it would still need to be discussed. Where did you write? Where, <laughs> where, where did you write that is temporary? First of all, because there's nothing temporary that he wrote. The letter does not say that. I think it does. The second mm -hmm. thing is that the letter does it say so? Yeah, it does. What does it say? It says temporary suspension. Let me just quickly look to find it. <laughs> yeah. Let me just check. Is it temporary? Yes. Right? Okay. He, did you find Absolutely it? Absolutely none. Eh? Yeah, yeah, it says letter of temporary yeah, suspension. Powers. It says letter of temporary suspension. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay, yeah. sorry. Okay. Apologies from my side. You seem <laughs> like I can apologize easily when I do wrong things. <laughs> so 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 let's 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 say temporary suspension. Mm -hmm. The powers that is exercising don't exist. Letter of temporary suspension. Okay. Yeah. The powers that 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 is exercising don't exist. Okay. All right. Because it's, re it's referring is referring to to thirteen point one. Where is this election this thing of uh, cost? Right. I'm, I'm I'm empowering him. I'm empowering him now because it doesn't know. So so I'm just gonna help him so that I can think of another way. Yeah. <laughs> At least this is uh, this, this is gonna be a class. Yeah, one of for constitution. <laughs> so so this thing says suspension and termination of membership. Yeah. Right. Okay. So when. So. This thing you mean, uh, the I mean, section yeah. that is quoted, that is referenced there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yes. I'm okay. there. I did my follow protocol. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and what we have. Mm. So, so, since you are not lazy to read. And then on 2.20, on, 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 op, uh, on definitions and abbreviations of the Eastern Cape Chess, mm. it says a member shall mean regional chess body, duly accepted as a member of the province. So, let me repeat. So a member 
in essence, what you're saying a is that shall me. The, the province has powers to suspend a region because it, it, it only has powers to suspend say. its members, not an individual. Like, yes, I'm not, like, I'm, I'm not a member. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a member. So you can't suspend me. I'm a member of a club. Yeah. You understand? Basically, so um, I can only. Mm. <laughs> What he should have yeah. done was to extend the what the request for suspension to your region, so that your region can yes. suspend you or yes. your club or, or you through your club. Yes. <laughs> in fact, in fact, in fact, when we look at it, <laughs> that committee has got a power of saying, "You, as a part of our committee, you are disruptive in our, and we don't want to because of one, two, three, four, mm. and have that conversation with me." Yeah. Right. But again, I understand. And that then they say, yeah, they can't. They can't also suspend you without communicating to the people that have sent you as re as their representative, right? Exactly. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> Which they have missed all that out and decided to go on social media and get my name thrown in the in the mud. People laughing. Mm. It's right and what have you humiliate me, mm. being a professional. Yeah, well, yeah. My dignity is moved around like that, you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, but but I've asked Luzugo yesterday because I I sent him a, an, an email and I copied his members as well to say Luzugo, can you please explain to me and provide me the exact thing why you have suspended me? Mm. Because the letter doesn't tell me the detail. Mm. Uh, it's just something in the air. So I need that detail, and and the fact that he missed an opportunity or they missed an opportunity. No, he is the only one actually that decided that. That is somewhere you can find a proof of that. It's only him that decided that. All other members are not aware. They were also shocked as I was shocked. Yeah, because I'm, I'm also, because I see that you are also part of that committee in a way as a representative of NMBU, right? So if there was a meeting of yes. or any kind of discussion or consultation, no. you would have been aware. No, the, mm. no th there was no meeting. Yeah. People were shocked. The, the same members of the committee were actually shocked that mm. I am suspended with immediate effect. There was no discussion even between them. Yeah. He took his own decision. You understand? <laughs> As the president, presiding officer, accountable, he's the main man. He doesn't care about the rules. I'm just going to do this. This guy, I want him out. Right? <laughs> and it, and, and no. you can't do that in this country. No, but his reason is that you were obstructing. Uh, what? Now there's two reasons. But he says you were obstructing the investigation or uh, of the the what of the of the executive committee of the Eastern Cape and finding information trying to resolve the matter From, uh, of the elections. You want, okay, if we have not even asked, if we have not even asked Nelson Mandela Bates, chess executive, hmm. the question yeah. that you're investigating. Where was he investigating? You have not even asked the guys that people are complaining about. Oh. We have listened to one side of the story, eh? yes. that there's a complaint. And then I say to him when I was there, he said, listen, listen here, this is how things work. If a guy comes to you and say, no man, uh, Ninawa is ill-treating me, you should be asking that guy how. Mm. What did he do? And then this guy is going to tell you the detail. Boom, 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 boom. Right? Yes. And then you decide it. Okay. Is this is this correct or not correct? Mm. And then you come to Ninawa, Ninawa, there is an accusation about you of this nature. Can you please tell us your side of your story? Yeah. This is not what happened there. He got one story, he made the decision about the story. Mm -hmm. And he wanted me to answer as a rep. Did you know? Ask the person who's giving the information to provide you the information that he says that is not given to them. I'm saying to him, did, did they, and I even said, in fact, in our group, I don't, if, I don't want you guys to be embarrassed. Ne? Yeah. Because I'm showing you proof now that these people only submitted their things on the 29th yeah. of October. Mm. In, the, in the middle of the elections. In the, right in the middle. You say, I'm in new country. I want to be part of the elections. It doesn't work. You uh, get me? Did they, get get Fred to give you the proper information. Don't be biased. And I, I was the last... The last WhatsApp I've got, the, I said, they told me that I like to say people are biased. <laughs> and I said, yes, I'm still saying they are biased. They were biased in the matter. They didn't consult the executive committee of the Nelson Mandela Bay. The conversation between the Nelson Mandela Bay and those and those um, uh, clubs 
was continuing at that time to say, guys, give us the information which was never, which never came up until today. <laughs> Now let's move on to the uh, the because you, you, you as obviously as a member of the committee of um of, of the interim structure of the what do you call the Eastern Cape, you were involved mm. with the uh, the discussions that were obviously recommended by FIDE that for nominations regions need to be called two representatives per region by the interim structures or even the the executive of the provinces and nominations discussed mm. and forwarded and sent. You were a part of that, right? Sure. Yes. So now it has happened yeah, in, your, yes. in your province. You have uh, oh. made nominations, but as it seems, it seems um, from uh, the look of the nominations that we received that e Eastern Cape, let me just check quickly, Eastern Cape has not nominated anyone, according to the nominations uh, list, but they did um, second a nomination of Luzu Kondinise, as uh, vice president too, is that a true reflection? Because again, I remember making a video of the fact that we don't feel like, we don't feel that this is a true reflection of all the provinces' uh, nominations. Because it doesn't make sense that nominations there are some provinces that did not nominate. Is that a true reflection of what you had agreed on in your meeting as the Eastern Cape um, uh, Council? Hey, you see, this one is probably one of the reasons why I also got a boot from from from. The president, uh, Mr. Luzugandinis. <laughs> Look, I, I'm an honest guy, ne? Mm. General, <laughs> yeah, general. Let's say general. Yeah, I'm an honest guy, general. So, so, and I'm a professional, as I said to you earlier. Mm. So, so I do things highly with with dignity. You know, I respect when I serve, and I think that we need to learn that the, the the mandate that we get we get from people we must 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 uh, do it correctly so let me quickly tell you what happened so because we're basically trying to get these nominations yes. then each region each region brought in two people each region now to create a council yeah so that the council can be the one that brings these names up yes. so in nelson mandela bay it was posted that there's this thing on the seventh, on the council group, mm. right? Yes. Posted by Fred. Eh? I, want, I want to say that so that when you have an interview with him mm. or whoever else, so that you know that the person who posted this thing on the council group was Fred to tell us that this is how the nominations go. Yeah. Okay. Mm. That's the first part. So the, 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 then the 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 the, 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 the region had to submit the names. Which were submitted from Nelson Mandela Bay because Intelligent Moves and PECC submitted the names on the date. Okay. They were sent through. So we discussed as the Eastern Cape Noba that the secretary will receive all the nominations. And then we got all the nominations and then we did a poll on WhatsApp. All right. After we, which is a voting. Proper voting, no yeah. problem. People don't have to be sitting in the meeting. Mm -hmm. So in the meeting, we came up, this is on the 6th or 7th, I'm not sure what is the date. <coughs> in that meeting, we came up with a list different to what you are talking about. Okay. <laughs> ne? Yes. Yeah. So, that list had, uh, I can tell you now, I want me to list the names for you. Yes, I think on I can, list. yeah, quickly share it. Uh, number one, is it President, you had Mr. Andrew Lewax as your, nom uh, your nominee. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. For Vice President Wan, number number two. Two. Yeah, number three, Vicky Maku. For Vice President Number two. four, Me Lise Lajam. Yes. Number five, For Treasurer three. was Luzu Gondinise. Okay. Yeah, Treasurer was Provincial, was Petras, uh, Mrs. Nicole Peter, and Mr. Joe Mahomul. Yes. Right? Yes. That is a list that we, 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 we agreed on mm -hmm. that we gave to our two delegates, which is the Secretary. Petras and also Luzuk. Yes. That you, these are the people that we want from the Eastern Cape. Yeah. Remember, in here, Luzuko was also contesting against Lindo Kutle Nguban on oh, VP1. Well, that wasn't one. Within yeah, the province. Was nominated. Yes, this is within the province. Yes. Now. We're nominating. Mm. So he lost to, to Lindo Kutle Nguban. Okay, so the, the province. so the province, Eastern Cape, preferred for Vice President Wan to be uh, the representative of KZN. 
in the yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. I this this is this is the this is the voice of the people. Not in an hour. This is the voice of the people. Yeah. No, I understand. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So then, <laughs> then, then was the seventh, and then on the eighth, I think it was a closing day day for for elections. Yeah. Right. And then, then when you wake up on the ninth, we've got a different layout yeah but so when you look yeah mm -hmm. well, there's a process right because i think the names needed to be yeah. submitted in the form right yes um, yes in the form and um, you had to have set your proof that you are not a criminal or something like that yeah but besides your CV, that your manifesto yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. besides that what you i think what's 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 most crucial is that after that form, obviously, you you after you sit, you basically mandate the what do you call this? You know, the two the representatives who are meant to be filling yeah. the forms, right? To say now these are the names that you're filling on the forms and sign on our behalf. But they also have a responsibility, or I don't know that within you as well within the glow to find a seconda because I think that's another another tricky part. Why, yes. were, any, why, were you aware of any seconder being uh, any willing seconder for any of these nominations? Because again, they could give you that reason and say, well, uh, we try to nominate these people, but we were not seconded. No. You see, now you're coming in a crucial point. Yeah. I asked that question. Mm. I said, guys, what is the plan? Who are the people that are going to go and talk to other provinces to second these people that we're putting on? Yeah. One, no answer. Two, I asked the question, guys, these nominees, did we send them their nomination forms? Did you sign their nomination forms, all these people? So that even themselves, they can take it and say, uh, if, if we are unable to get a second, they can get them and themselves. Say, uh, yeah, they can get them themselves. Yeah. Unfortunately, none of them were given those forms as well. Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh, no, they're frowning. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they were, they were all not given. Okay. They were all not given the nomination forms. Except... Mm except nicole peter okay nicole peter made a phone call probably about half past six that night where there was a deadline for eight o'clock mm. to call the secretary secretary can i please have my nomination form and my second you understand can i have yes. my nomination form from the eastern cape and then and then uh, after a long uh, a short conversation mm. a nomination form was sent to to, to 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 be seconded by another province okay right yes which is which is which is northern cape who found the name northern cape the 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 the, 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 the secretary of the region Galo, the secretary of the of the province that's okay so the secretary yes, of the province yes. is the one that that, that campaigned for the secondment that found the province that was that was willing to second Yes, because remember that uh, we had two people that are our delegates, yeah. which is which is the the the, the, the which is the president, which is the, the, the secretary and the president. Yes, Stirman and Google yeah. And yeah and so yes, so 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 we did that conversation with another province, which is Northern Cape, and they signed, and then Nicole got her nomination. You understand yes. form because she asked for it. And then, fortunately, she had all the other forms already prepared for putting it in. Yeah. At the same time, earlier on that day, there was a nomination that was done by KZN for Nicole, seconded by Western Cape. For the same position, right? for the same role. For the, for the same position, for the same role. Yeah. So she sent those two to feed her. So were they meant to be sent by the nominee themselves or by the secretary of or of the province? I am not sure, but okay. but she was given the, the the email addresses to use to send mm. her nomination. So are you saying so she sent that? There's a chance that some of these nominees were not aware, even in fact, that they were nominated by your province because they may have not received. They did not receive any nomination form from the province unless I can prove otherwise. So has there been a follow-up yes, follow no. follow meeting between the, the the council that has mandated the two representatives to check and find out how did the, the, yeah, how the were, nominations go? And mm. yeah, so 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 what transpired is that I asked this question consistently, mm -hmm. um, so much that 
uh, 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 it was seen as if I am I am provoking people, so to speak. Okay. I'm a bad person to ask these questions, right? Mm. Yes. I continue to ask the question up until there was a, 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 a view that says, let's have another council meeting on a Saturday, which is after, on a Friday or Saturday, or on a Saturday, after okay. the election, after the nominations have gone through. Yes, okay. You understand? I understand. Now that everything is closed. Mm. Now we have a meeting after. Uh. We, le we learn in that meeting that the president was actually nominated by Limbombo. Okay. And then the Eastern Cape, which is the secretary, yeah. seconded the nomination. So again, because again, it's, it brings us to another question. That <laughs> the second bit, did they have the right to nominate with your... Uh, did they have to because i'm not, I, I wonder again about the powers that are given to these people that are delegated do they have now the powers to second without consultation just because they've got the signature they can't that is why that, that is why you can't it, it, it doesn't allow you to do that mm. constitution it cannot allow you to do that so the best thing that could have happened because remember now at this stage we already have Two people in those VPs already, and we're gonna send the president and the secretary to go and vote for us. Now, the president becomes part of the people that are there already. We have people in there. Mm. Now that creates a, a conflict of interest immediately, because the interest in the region, in the in the province, was saying VP two VP came up. Yeah. Right. Yes. Now we've got VP two in the final saying VP V uh, V came up. And Luzu Gondinis. Now that creates a conflict of interest now. For the province. Because the people who are sending now. Yes, because mm -hmm. now we already had a person, but now we've got a new one. Yes. So the people that are going now have to vote against the will of the people. <sighs> so the meeting so then the meeting was held. Yeah, what? Yes. And in this meeting, we had to drag. And when I'm saying drag, it's like pulling the teeth without putting those things, you know, uh, those things that yeah, we have to drag it mm. to have at least for an apology to be said to us as a council. <laughs> In fact, to be said to the council, not to us, because I'm interim, not to me. Yeah. When I'm interim as well. I was not aware of this arrangement. Mm. None of us were aware of the arrangement. So the council had to, the president had to apologize to the council for what they have done. Mm. And the council accepted the approach. Yes. Because if the second, because that's what I said, if the second was from another province, that could have been fine. No issues, no complaints. Yeah, yeah. yeah but because it's a fair thing. And then we say, okay, since now you are there as well, mm. because he has to come back and say, guys, I was, I was nominated by two other provinces. They want me to be a vice president. Yes. Then we're going to come to the council and say, so can we change our vote? And then the council is going to say, yes, because you and from Eastern Cape still stands. <laughs> but in this meeting now, uh, uh, the Playcom representative, who are two males, were brought into the meeting for this voting process. Yes, okay. <laughs> Yeah, the play the two males, and you know, most play is supposed to have a male in the field. It's yeah. Freddy and Tumisa. Mm. But that isn't, isn't it because do you have female players in your in your province? Yes, we do have female players, Suka. <laughs> <laughs> we do have female. But do you have adult female have players? Females. Yeah, 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 yeah. The title. Basically, you were saying that you only have two representatives for um, what's the position for play and it's only two males. So I was just checking to confirm if you have adult female players in your in your province who could yes, have been. Yes, we, we do. have uh, Charlize. Charlize the um, Fanzilia is, is adult as well, but yes. she's not the only one that is adult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there are over twenty. Over twenty, there are many of them uh, <laughs> that are in the in the in the whole province. Mm. Uh, I mean, we've got even ladies that are, are starting at Forte, Tivet colleges that are playing. Yeah. So, so, play. so, so, so. Yeah, and they've got girls team. They just participated in Cape Town mm. in, in, the, in these universities. So there's no way that we can, we don't have. But I think, I think the point that I'm trying to raise mm. is the fact that we need to be sensitive around uh, the gender 
balance issue. Yes, yes. And, and, and I've sent that also as a, as, a, as a, from the committee. We have sent that already as a committee to ask the Eastern Cape, uh, but how did you advertise this? Did you talk to the clubs? Did you get the clubs to be involved or not? Yeah. And from what I got from the council yesterday is that the clubs were not even aware that there were those things that were happening. So there's a lot of there's a lot of underhand and not following process that is happening. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, for instance, today we just received an an, an email um, that indicates that there's an SGM happening for the Eastern Cape, called by Duzuko and the team um, to have an SGM about elections coming on on coming elections, and then in the Nawa suspension, and then Nelson Mandela page has union elections. Mm -hmm. So you first do the wrong thing and then go and get a mandate after. That's what they're doing now. <laughs> so when, when is that meeting scheduled for? The one that you just, the SGM? It's, it's, it's scheduled for the 28th of this month after the after the, after the the elections. After the Chesa elections? After the Chesa elections. So, so, so at the moment, I'm not sure uh, when that decision was taken, whether they, they consider the fact that they have not spoken to the even the Nelson Mandela BHS Union about what they are busy talking about now. Or even the elections, eh? Or even the elections themselves. So, mm -hmm. so it's, it's it's just a a, a matter of saying we are following him now and we don't want him. <laughs> but can, I, can I just go back to this one question? How come did the Nelson Mandela Bay, or maybe you can't because you are not part of the answer because you are not part of the that structure before? Why? How come they did not involve the Eastern Cape Executive Committee or at least a member, whether the president or the secretary, uh, f f with the elect for the elections? Because I think there needs to be uh, I don't know some structure above this region that is involved for the elections of this region, right? Yeah, so 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 who was the the, the, the the decision? No, I was briefed about that and I answered even to that to those guys mm. early, early on. Yeah. That the, the thinking of the pro of the region at the at that time yeah. was that they need to make sure that they get sports confed involved in this red. Yeah. Because at the moment the chess in Nelson Mandela Bay is not in good uh, standing with sports confed. Yes. Although we do, we, we, we have been interacting with them and they were there also yesterday, by the way, as observers. Yeah, okay, that's good. But, but the point of the matter is that that's what is critical and important that to make sure you get the stakeholders that are critical for you to get into good standing. Mm. I think that was the thinking at the time. Mm. Uh, because, because there is no role that the province is going to play in the elections, by the way. And if you go to the constitution again, it's going to tell you, I think, I think it's a 10.5 or something like that. I read it some time ago. Mm. It's just the requirement for the province with regards to elections of the region is that they need to receive a documentation and communication that shows that they had a, a, a elections that were fair and free. All right. That's, all. Yeah. That's the requirement for the province to have. Okay. They don't have to, they don't have to take part and be part of the elections. <laughs> Okay. All right. No. Hey. Yeah. No. I think there's a lot that we would need to discuss. But I mean, since we're already past an hour for this uh, yeah. session, we might have to schedule um, another one. Especially since now you are the president of the Nelson Mandela Bay Chess Union, and congratulations on that once again. Hopefully, we get to speak on more development plans that you have for 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 your region as president. And um, uh, yeah. Uh, maybe look 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 to inspire. I hear you saying that you are one of the best uh, in the province for two years in a row, and maybe now look to compete with other outside uh, federations. Like uh, hopefully you will provide. I think you have what it takes to uh, compete against Mojanala, especially in terms of their uh, players' support and players. Um, I don't know engagement like this, the rewarding and so forth. So that's one of the yeah. federations. Yeah, Mm. Yes, it, no, I agree with you. So, so, so those are the one. Of, those are the things that we're looking at. Um, uh, we are the best in the region. We have come number one on both times. So yeah. that is unquestionable. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna try and see because the discussions that we're having now is about how do we develop players? Yeah, yeah. Because they are stagnant, and then we're seeing that the adults are not playing. Yes. You know, some of the adults that are making noise only play one, one game for the full year. Mm. That is that is rated, you know. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So, 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 what we have found out is that the adult players really want to have. There must be money, not only medals. Proper prize money, yes. Now, now, in order for us to do that, mm. we have to have a good reputation yeah. for the public and private sector to be able to support us. Of course, that's true. Now, if you go around and write emails to feed and all over the place and talking ill 
information that is incorrect around mm. which corporate is going to help us <laughs> so you're trying to kill chess in one way or the other without knowing mm, 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 you know, mm, mm. what i'm saying yeah however we're gonna mute that whole thing that they're trying to do even this sgm that they're trying to do uh, we're gonna deal with it as well um because that the processes have not been followed you know yeah um, yeah so i'm waiting for a, a letter tomorrow that comes from Luzuka by three o'clock because i've asked him to explain those charges that has put in yes. and if those are not put in i've put it in his email that i've sent that further action is going to be taken and it's not going to be it's going to be taken through the sports environment yeah you okay so to make sure that people follow processes which then he still has to go and deal with it with the with the, with the cyber bullying that he has done and go and retract all those things that he has done and unfortunately the meeting is on the 28th so he has to answer these things and fix them before the 28th yes of course yeah no <laughs> no thank you for your time mr now with uh, peter mr peter it's been great speaking to you hopefully we'll speak some other time have a good yeah, one so. all okay, right thanks, thanks. All right. bye, yes, yes, bye. Oh, awesome. So that was the special interview with Mr. Pete, Mianawa Peter, <laughs> now current president of the newly elected president of uh, Nelson Mandela Bay Chess Union. So, yeah, I look forward to having more conversations with the gentleman. And, yeah, maybe you obviously get insight into what's, you know, what, what's happening within that province and get an insight into it. Again, so there's a lot that we get, we get to learn from such uh, communications. So we look forward to maybe again speaking to the others who are involved in this. Um, it's Mr. Fred, Freddy Odendal and Mr. Uh, Luzu Kondinisa. But for now, this is it from Chess and Wine. Good evening. Good morning. Good day. Be good. <laughs>